Hey everybody, it's Jess of Bless Jess. Thank you for watching today. Um, one of the things I've heard a lot of people say is they want to see more recipes. I haven't even thought to show you guys this recipe because it's so easy, but it's one of our favorites. I'm going to be making taco soup tonight, so I thought I'd just show you how I do it. It's really easy. We really like it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the few ingredients you need. It's all going to go into a big pot, and I'll show you step by step how to make it. So let's see okay. the ingredients. So you're going to need a pound of ground beef. This is actually two pounds, I think. Um, a little over two pounds, so I'm just going to use a portion of this, and I'm going to brown it up. Um, you're also going to need a package of ranch seasoning mix, any kind you like. You're also going to need a pack of taco seasoning. I just have this big, huge one, so I'm just going to use about a package worth, like one of those big size packages worth. You're going to need a can of black beans, a can of pinto beans. Now, normally I use the same size, the small cans, but this is all Aldi had, so this one's just going to have extra pinto beans. I might try to save some for something else. I'm not sure. I might just use the whole thing, and it'll just be extra extra beans in there. It'll probably stretch it out a little further. So, can of black beans, can of pinto beans. You're going to need a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies or rotel. And then you're going to need a can of tomato sauce. Um, you're going to usually use a 16 ounce can. Or is that a 10 ounce? Usually I just use one of the, that size, like a 16, 15 ounce can, but all we only have these eight ounces. So I'm going to use two of these. And that's going to be fine. And then I'll show you how what I do with this. But this is masa. You can also use corn mix, like cornmeal mix. This is totally optional, but I started using masa in my soups when I started watching the Pioneer Woman when she cooks a lot with it, like in her chilies and stuff. This adds a really nice flavor. If you don't have this, you can totally leave it out. So that is it. That's all you need. The first thing we're going to do is get the ground beef. We have a big Dutch oven. You can just use a pot or whatever. We're going to get the ground beef in here browning up, and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I browned the meat, and then I drained it, so there's no fat. Um, now what you're going to do is add the rotel. Now, I'm very picky about chunks of tomatoes, so I kind of just food process mine a little bit, so it's not really chunky, but you can do whatever you want. Just add in the rotel. You're going to add in the tomato sauce. I might have to have both hands for this. Um, and then you're going to add in the seasoning mix, the ranch and the taco seasoning. So let me mix. Plus, you're going to add in the about a cup of water. It depends on how runny you like this or how thick. I might add two cups because I have a lot of beans. So you're going to add the tomato sauce, the rotel, the seasoning mix, and a cup or two of water. And then you're going to put a lid on this and you're going to simmer it for about 30 minutes and just let the flavors melt together. So I have it on low. I'm going to put the lid on it, add my other stuff, and I'll see you back after it's been simmering for a few minutes, 30 minutes. Okay, actually. so I just want to show you before I start simmering it, um, I added all of the stuff. I added the the water, the seasoning mixes, the tomato sauce, and the rotel. I'm going to let this simmer with the lid on it. And while this is simmering, I'm going to go ahead and get my beans into a colander. And I like to just kind of rinse them off and get all of that thick liquid off of them. I don't really like that part. Um, so I'm going to just rinse these off in a colander, let this simmer for 30 minutes, and then we're going to add the beans. Okay, next. so I have the black beans and the pinto beans drained in a colander. It's been about 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be exact. 20, 30 minutes. It's been simmering. So, if I can do this without burning myself, oh, it's simmering hardcore. Let me turn it down a little bit. You are going to add all of the beans. Like I said, I have a little bit extra, but it's okay. We'll be careful. Now, I just like to stir them. Let me get my spoon. This is not an exact science, you guys. Okay. The beans really will kind of thicken up the soup, plus the masa we're going to use. I would say if you're not going to use the masa, go a little shy on the water so it's not too thin, because this is still a little thin for me. Um, but it will thicken up. So what I'm going to do is let it simmer for 20 minutes. This is the also part of the soup where you can add a can of corn if you would like. I am not crazy about corn in this. I don't know why. <laughs> I, just, I like just the beans. But if you like taco soup with corn, add the corn in here. And um, we're going to simmer it for 20 minutes, let the beans get nice and flavorful and tender. The reason we're adding the beans in here, as opposed to at the beginning, is I don't want them to get mushy. We want them to have a nice texture. So, as I throw that in there, hot, that is really hot. Um, put the lid on, we're going to wait 20 minutes. While that is finishing up, the last step is to add some masa. This is totally optional. It adds a very nice 
nice flavor. All I do is to take about a fourth of a cup with about just enough water to make it, I'll show you, but it, it kind of makes a paste, um, like a watery paste. So I'm at a, about a fourth of a cup of water, a, well, a fourth of a cup of masa, maybe maybe a little less water. I'll show you what it looks like. Just kind of experiment. Um, this is really, really cool if you've never cooked with masa. Um, or you, like I said, you could just use um, ground cornmeal. Anyway, so I'll show you what that looks like. And after this simmers for 20 minutes, then we're going to add this, let it cook for another five or 10 minutes, and then it'll be ready. So I'll see you guys back. Let's see, it's 545. I'll see you back at six o'clock or so, or six or five. Okay, so <laughs> the soup is pretty much done. I'm going to add my masa. Um, I started out with about a fourth of a cup and I just kept adding water to it until it gets, you know, the consistency of a paste. You want to kind of try to work out as many lumps as you can because you don't want it to be lumpy. Um, there might be a few. I'm not too worried about it. It'll kind of break down. Now when you add this, I'm probably going to have to put the camera down. When you add this, you're going to want to stir really, really good as you're adding it. You don't want these to <laughs> lump up and make like little dumplings in your soup. You want this to all get incorporated. So I'm going to add this in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all ready. It needs to simmer for another 10 or 15 minutes after you add this. This adds a very nice corn flavor, roasted kind of taste. It's really good. And like I said, if you don't have this, no big deal. Just, this is delicious as itself. So let me add this. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when I add the masa. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because it's not quite simmering anymore. Um, do you see how it kind of just made it a lighter color? Um, it, it will kind of thicken up too as it starts to simmer again. This just needs to go, for, like I said, for another 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'm going to put it in a bowl. I like to top it with sour cream, a little bit of cheese, and some Fritos. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's all ready. Now, depending on the ingredients you use and the amounts, and how big your bowls are, you can figure out this is pretty low calorie and pretty Weight Watcher friendly as well. I usually, it usually ends up being about 400 calories just for the soup for a pretty big, nice size bowl of it. Um, there's a couple of little tiny lumps of the masa. I kind of just break them up. They kind of will break up and like I see one right there. I'll just kind of make sure it's broken up. Um, but the masa adds a really nice flavor. So I will show you my bowl when it gets all so ready. my finished bowl. Um, I have one tablespoon of sour cream, an ounce of corn chips, and I put only a half ounce of cheese. Um, I think it's about 550 calories if I'm adding it up correctly. It's going to depend on what you put in it and the ingredients you use. Um, I still have a bunch left. This also freezes very, very well if you want to do individual portions. I will have the entire recipe linked or just listed down below, so go check it out. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new for more videos coming up soon. See you guys all next time.